what was some of the hard work that you had to put in up front to maybe overcome some of those obstacles? As, uh, what does that look like as a new agent? Um, what kind of work did you put in to make connections and get your leads and lists? Yeah. So it is honestly about meeting the most amount of people that you possibly can. Um, you have to be assertive. You have to. I had open houses. I had about three open houses a week. You can have even more than that. I did an open house on Friday and two open houses on Saturday. As new agents, I, I tell my agents, you need to have as many open houses as you can. You better be out there Saturday and Sunday having open houses Friday evening because those are buyers that are coming to you. And then you get the opportunity to get their information and start working with them. So I did a lot of open houses. My first year, 25% of my business came from open houses. 25% um, of my, or I'm sorry, 50% of my business came from door knocking. So everyone, I, I was at Keller Williams, that's where I started. And everyone teased me and they're like, you know, she's the girl that knocks the doors. But I did a lot of door knocking. And what I would do is Thursday, basically all day I was door knocking in Southwest Florida. That's not fun. Mm. It is hot. <laughs> yeah. So when I started looking like really a mess, I was like, all right, I need to stop door knocking now. But I did a lot of that. And I got, I can't tell you how much business I got. I'll give you percentages because I, I do, I do like the numbers so I can give you some of that. Sure. Um, but I did get a lot of my business from door knocking and it's just putting yourself out there. It's, I don't care what you have on the piece of paper that you're going to give them. It's not about that. It's about the fact that you met me. And I get to say, you know, hi, I'm Savannah Shepard. I'm the local real estate agent here and uh, expert here in the area. And and then you have a conversation with them. Ask them something they, you know, if you ask for their knowledge, then it seems like they're helping you, right? So tell me, you know, you as a homeowner in the neighborhood, what are your thoughts? Do you like the neighborhood? Oh my goodness, I can't stand it here. My husband wanted to move here. I didn't want to be here. Oh, well, then I guess it's good I'm I'm at your door right now. Let me give you my card and I'll come by tomorrow and sell your house. You know, whatever. Like it didn't always happen that easy. It usually didn't happen that easy. Um, but at the same time, it did. I remember, you know, one time I was door knocking and I was so exhausted. I'm like, I just want to be done. There's one more house at the end of the street. I'm like, no, go walk to it. It's, you know, further down from all the other houses. I walked to it, knocked on their door and they're like, Oh my goodness, we literally just sat on the couch and said, we need to put our house for sale. Our kids are up north and we need to move. So yeah, did you bring a listing agreement? L literally just like that. They signed the listing agreement that day. Oh and I was 18. That was my first listing. Um, I think that was my second listing. But so it works. Uh, don't expect that every time. There's a lot of times that you spent hours and hours and it feels like you got absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. um, but that's real estate. You have to be consistent. You have to keep doing it. For my open houses, I would door knock 50 houses all around. Um, I could get about 25 doors an hour. So for someone who's trying, that's about what I would say to estimate. I did a ton of door knocking. So like I say, my first year in business, 50% of it came from door knocking. My second two years in business, 25% of my business came from door knocking. And that was um, 16 and 18 million in sales. So my my second year, I did 16 million in sales, and that was 25% door knocking. My third year, 18 million in sales, 25% door knocking. So we're not talking about one deal. I mean, we're talking about a lot of deals that, I mean, our average sale price at that time was like 250. So that's, that's a lot of deals from door knocking. But mm -hmm. those would be my biggest things is, um, door knocking in open houses for people that you don't know. And then it's your sphere of influence. So your sphere of influence is whatever you're a part of. To me, if you are very involved at, you know, your local church, that that's mine. I'm very involved there. Now I don't walk around saying, Oh, let me sell your house. Let me sell your house. But people know if you have a question, I'm there for you. And because of that, they also come to me and say, Hey, I do need to sell my house without me advertising it. I'm very involved there. So whatever it might it might be you know a golf club whatever that might be or it truly might just be your sphere of influence and you're the person that's having a party every quarter at your house inviting everyone out but you're just staying in contact with those people that you have um those are the three things that i built my business off of and the biggest thing i can say is it wasn't easy and it you have to be consistent 
anything that I've done that I have not been consistent with, I have not um, have, have not had success. 